All right, what's up, Pod Squad, and welcome back to my Harbing and Turn Marathon. So we have triple, that's right, three Zephyr recaps in a row I'm going to get through right here, right now. So the first one I want to get through is his Raid Redemption recap. I, I love the Raid Redemption so much. It's such a great freaking action movie. I mean, wow, he actually did a freaking recap of this. It's awesome. So his recap of the Raid Redemption recap is called the best hands you'll ever see. So yes, it's been it's been a minute I've seen the seen the Ray Redemption. It's been years I've seen it. So it's nice to see you know he's doing a recap of it. It makes me want to go ahead and see it um, see it again, of course. So yeah, I'm actually definitely down saying so to see this. So I'll squat without further ado, we're gonna check out Zephyr's recap of the Ray Redemption right now. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. This movie since Spider-Man 1. Before I even had a thousand subs, I literally cannot go a week without getting recommended this movie. So I finally decided to watch it. And at mm. this point, I just gotta put my hands up and admit, y'all cook. This movie was incredible. Yes, this movie yes. is just some top-tier boxing, and that's it. Like, literally, this is the entire plot. So these army men raid an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> So these army men go to bust down this apartment that this crime lord's in. This entire apartment is full of other criminals. Once the Damn. crime lord catches wind of this, he's all like, Hey yo, the ops in this man, you kill him, you get free rent. Giving the entire yeah. army M's on their head like they Luigi brother. And everybody in this hoe is out to kill him. That's it. That's the whole plot. Mm. Keep it simple and get straight to the boxing. This is some of the best boxing I've ever seen in a film. I was researching and I know they used some special camera to do some of these fights. And the fighting geek in me was going crazy yeah. i was getting flashes back to jackie chan versus ken Lo. even outside of the hands just the action itself is just incredible in this film the first right. action scene where everybody in the apartment starts going the heck is that jackie chan movie they're kind of tight i gotta see that one going at him i was watching this fully locked in i was like ain't no way i missed this hmm. in this video i only want to talk about two things no Ken Carson. It's the Machete Gang fight and Mad Dog, one of the yep. coldest villains I've seen on film. Yep. We're gonna start with the Machete Gang fight because I know a lot of y'all wanted me to cover this movie for this. Let's go. Let's go. So the scene starts and we got Rama out here moving like it's Metal Gear Solid. Following the voice of one of his comrades, he's out there screaming for help. They got this man in the upside down bully position trying to take all of his cash. This is why you can't go band for band with some niggas. Hmm. Once they lose, they start taking it too far. Hmm. What is this Nickelodeon ass shit? But Rama gets caught red handed. This man gets out the room and then turns his head to Rama. He stares at the nigga for like 30 seconds before hmm. he realizes, oh shit, he's the guy. Uh, my dog sharing the same brain cells as little pump. Once I saw this, I know this man was not gonna enter any type of kitchen, let alone even touch a microwave. He is not cooking oh. shit. And to prove this, Rama literally stops skedaddling just to piece this nigga up. And I know some of y'all gonna be like, Zach, he pushed up to the wall. Like, okay. And I put shorties on the wall too. That don't mean nothing. Finish the mission. Rama's still chopping this man up, getting free eats. The rest of his gang starts coming and he runs out the door and he throws, throws this him. man, oh, man across the railing. Have my dog landing like this. Oh. Oh. No revive is helping that man. He is cooked. How do you even walk after that? Rama. I remember that. Oh man. <clears throat> oh man. That that had to freaking hurt. Oh man starts getting chased down and one of the members of the gang sees his dead homie and he starts having his shown a character moment I won't let you get away, away with this that's a lame ass suck in your box fuck nigga Rama tries to escape and he realizes that he is locked inside this hallway and the machete gang finally locks him down but before they rush him the leader's like ah, we got your ass down bad you got nothing on you and you running you're lacking and Rama's like who lacking and immediately tees up and that's when I realized bro is just like me if i was in that scenario i don't even gotta tell y'all how it's gonna go down they immediately get to brawling blue shirt guy rushes at him only to immediately get disarmed damn you couldn't even get a strike off right. trash ass he starts handling the rest of them with ease and he pins this guy to the wall he started kicking this man's legs had him hitting the shmurda oh, nah. but he immediately gets his lick back and pushes rama to the wall he to miss his stab and get his knees bent he got this dreadhead running at rama hitting the videl and 
and for some reason, <laughs> he's screaming like he Georgia the Jungle, yes. like he Tarzan, dare I say Donkey Kong. He <laughs> hear your loud ass through all this music, bruh. Shut up. He lands on Rama, and not gonna lie, this is a crazy screenshot, bruh. Never let this even touch in the group chat. That Stupid. Ruby Rose is on top of me, and I can't handle it, pose. And trust me, a lot of you niggas gonna be like that. You get with her, you gonna end up like Norbit. That's tough. <laughs> he tries to stab Rama only to get thrown to the side, and before Rama can hit his punish, he literally starts getting dragged. You got this man talking about some, hey, yo, take the leg. What? <laughs> Knowing how crazy these niggas is, they gonna be feasting on that bit. Seasoning <laughs> and all. He tries to take his leg with no hesitation, and Rama swung his body to the side and drops two kicks Ow. on his ass and goes straight for his homie. Kicks him around, and he got him looking distraught. He's about to turn on Dora and get this man a map. He is lost. Look at his hands, too. This nigga hitting the robot. Rama slams this guy down and then grabs his weapon and starts going crazy. Moving just like Captain America. How are they using your own weapon better than you? They out there moving. I'm surprised he's even able to dodge with these weak ass Adidas on his feet. I thought he was going to get lost for sure and he's still boxing them off with ease and i'm looking at these niggas like bro y'all are so sorry you would really watch this whole movie thinking they're the coldest niggas on earth when it comes to the boxing these niggas got no badges like how are you sorry he was really <laughs> slicing and dicing. He slices my boy right here, and he got him like, Oh, my jaw! That's rough, buddy. Niggas couldn't touch my chin. They see me walk outside, and they like, The nigga chin! No, no. I'm trying to get him to the ground, trying to press him, and he's blue shirt, sweaty ass, spamming. You sweating this hard and ain't get a single hit off this whole fight, nigga? And nigga, you trash. Boy, get your ass back here. I ain't finished. I could get to roasting this nigga's entire life from the payless fit to the atrocious hairline. Rama's clearly <laughs> doing the violating for me. I can make a whole comp of this nigga getting washed. <laughs> he tries to grab the weapon again, only to get cut off. Purple hoodie slashes again and peep this clean <laughs> ass dodge Ooh. by Rama right here. Like, that's my guy. That's my guy. He's cold. So at this point, Rama's fighting two of them at once and he hits him with <laughs> shout out nudie and he kicks the dreadhead through the door and we got mr shonen villain over here talking about some shonen. i will kill you and slashes his back rama turns around and he's like I and he starts max combo in his ass. This is where he straight up violates, bro. He grabs his head and then he mm. jumps back. And I'm like, no, 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 no. 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 I'm not watching this. Look. Like when I tell you when I first watched yeah. this, I closed my eyes so fast because it just hit me. It's like, okay, I think I remember this part. Ain't no way they was about to show this off, bro. This shit was too cold, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. They get into the room and Rama's out here leaning. Oh, I'm on that beef for real. I'm on that beef for real. So party. He starts chopping this man up and puts him on the table like he's supper. This mm. free eats for the whole block. <laughs> uh, peep this. They got no respect for their dead homie. Stepping on bro like a doorman. No wonder y'all niggas Damn. lost. They get to tag teaming him and this is the sorriest duo I've ever seen. I'm kicking bro so hard he lost all the air in his body. Got him talking like the frog from Shrek. Come on, man. Is that all you got? Face ass. And he grabs this man and puts him right on the oven. That's exactly where you should be right now because you were getting flamed, roasted, baked, scorched, whatever the synonym. Put this nigga on a plate and flip him three times. Tell everybody to look at this because he's getting cooked. He does the blue shirt nigga the worst. He got him playing Ring Around the Rosie. Except the only thing coming down is your life. And he slices his neck. Little to no effort. Before the kill can even marinate, the dreadhead immediately applies pressure. And he's real life the only only person putting actual hands on Rama right here. And while he's comboing, he once again jumps on Rama. Why is it only the dreadhead trying to do some jumping shit? What are y'all trying to say? <laughs> oh no, what the hell is that picture? No! Chill, the Rama was getting chill. tired of this jumping shit and he slams him to the wall. And I know his ears was booming after this. Look at him. The dripped out leader rolls up on Rama and look at how he pulls up. Squared up and all, he get down, he don't play. <laughs> they was really going hit for hit. Like, just look at this. And he put both of them in a split position. I'm like, nah, y'all niggas freaky ass. ass. Yes. Leader's getting his shit mixed until Rama grabs his hoodie. This is where I saw this man visibly tweak out. That whole must have been straight from Balmain because he immediately got to cooking. Puts Rama over and then immediately tries to choke him out. Only for Rama to flip him over himself and hit him with a devious headbutt. Yeah. I never understood the use of a headbutt. Damn. I got the biggest forehead in the world. But I banged 
mine against another niggas. It got me looking lost. Oh, got it. They against start brawling, and the leader has lost it at this point. This man starts slashing at Julius Randle's shot straight air. Rama completely mixes his shit and then puts him down. To end the fight, you got this man standing looking lost like a Mortal Kombat character before a fatality. Yes. Rama uses his body as a cushion to jump out the house. No Cardi. Once mm. they land, he immediately gets into another battle. I'm telling you, this place is op city. A yeah. whole apartment is out for their heads. This was a fantastic battle. Definitely peep for yourself. It was. You gotta talk about the main villain in the movie, which is Mad Dog. Mm -hmm. And this man is a fantastic villain because he's just like me. Yes. Because he don't want nothing but straight hands. Because he got the leader of this operation at gunpoint. And he's like, nah, I never liked guns. These right here, this is where the feeling comes from. I'm gonna kill you just like this. And when I first watched the movie, I was like, the cap. <laughs> I thought this was the small talk to gas his ego up. I'm gonna be honest. I've seen this over and over again. Three seconds. Sorry, but I'm gonna kill you in three oh, I thought you were gonna get packed up like nothing happened. But I was so wrong. <laughs> I'm telling you, they start going hit fit hit back to back and I love this. Like, you know, put a violation in the title. It's cool. It's gonna get you money. Sometimes a real nigga just wants to see an even matchup. And they was real life boxing. Mad Dog hitting him with a one, two, bop, straight to the cranium. Moving crazy, doing parkour on the wall. Bro thinks he's Tony Hawk. Stop. We got bro hitting full army crawls on this nigga. Like, nah, this is that real mud. They was in the dirt with this shit. Mad Dog lunges a knee at his face, had him making out. It this right here was a masterful play because he baits him with a kick and for some reason in fights niggas swear they got the Sharingan. Monkey see, monkey do. And Jaka throws a kick back and Mad Dog locks him down. And I saw bro's legs get clamped like the division symbol. I was like, nah, the fight is over. And he gets laid yeah. out. Mad Ooh. Dog's looking up. He's like, forgive me for what I'm about to do. Proceeds to choke Jaka out and then snaps his neck. Mm. One of the most brutal fights mm. I've done ever seen. Yeah. He has one more after this. This is the last fight of the movie, and I'm telling you, they go absolutely crazy. Yeah. So Rama pulls up to save his brother, whose name is Andy, from Mad Dog. And just to cement how cold Mad Dog is, he lets him save his brother. Doesn't even intervene. Right when he frees him, with no words, just his hands, tells them to separate, and he gets in the middle of them. And then they get ready to square off. This was the coldest thing I ever seen. Yeah, when I watched yeah. this, I was so deep. For six minutes straight, we get the absolute pinnacle of cinema fights. Yeah. Like I'm telling you, these two are moving so refined with their movements. I have to give them a standing ovation. One of the hardest duo cooks ever put on the screen. Yeah. But we want a little bit, and I want you to pay attention to this because Mad Dog is going to bully the shit out of Andy this whole fight. <laughs> got him getting hit so hard, he got a Dragon Ball Z ass reaction. <laughs> Surprised the punch didn't show up on his back. It twirls him around, but they get back to their duo cooks. They really started playing tennis with Mad Dog. But Mad Dog again kicks Andy to the side, had him hitting the you Locked so far to the side, I swear it was Soulja Boy. He flips Rama over and then got Andy looking crazy. This Cinderella ass shit, he's calling you a hoe. Throws him down and then again Rama comes to save him. Write that one down too because Rama's gonna save his ass so many times in this fight. Rama sweeps him to the floor and tries to lock him down. Only for Mad Dog to maneuver his way out of it. Rama hits the assist to allow Andy to start his combo. But this man misses his strike and proceeds to get laid out by Mad Dog. Mm. It's reminding me of Tom Cruise. There's always that one person in a duo that will just sell Rama yeah. again. By the way, I think that was one of my first Zephyr recaps I did. The Mission Possible 5 recap. Go see my reaction for that. And pulls up to run it on Mad Dog only to get hit with the get your ass back. Yeah. Him straight out and he goes straight for Andy. Andy throws him away and they get to box and they look like they dancing right now. Look at this. In that ballroom business, this is beautiful. But Mad Dog kicks Andy off him and proceeds to hit him with the knee three times. Like, mm, damn, am mm. I gonna see a oh, Falcon oh. punch next? Nigga they still in my stop, I get my, my flow back. back. No Uzi. Rama pulls up to save him, but he gets put down with ease. Rama and Andy start to jump this man, but this man's parries are nothing but elite. Yeah. They start to outsmart him because Mad Dog tries to kick Rama. Even though he's hit, he uses that opportunity to kick Mad Dog's side. Like, y'all niggas just don't want it bad enough. You see the hustle in this man? Mm. Cook! 
nigga. Bad Dog slide cancels to the other side, and this is where Andy becomes nothing but free combo food. Because they start playing tennis with Mad Dog, but every time Rama hits him to Andy, man is just copping free Costco samples. This is free eats. He launches Andy away, and him and Rama actually get to run at it. Like, peep this weave. Andy tries to pull up only to get blocked every hit. J. Cole trying to get a number one, and he starts spamming knees on Andy. Damn near got three in a row. Like, damn, nigga, can you block? Thank you! Him and Rama start beefing and then he kicks his leg like this. I was like, ah! Nigga, unpack that hole like a full roll up. This man jumps and tries to hit him with the sumo kick only to get pulled in the air. Like, I know bro definitely thought he was lagging in real time. Getting pulled away from a jump is crazy. But he started mixing Andy's shit. Like, look at this. Nah, Damn. my boy was done egregiously. Rama being a W brother begins to get him off, but he is still getting rocked. Andy tries to pull up on him only for Mad Dog to hit this crazy ass flip. Like, huh? what? Damn. I know they was looking up at this flip tight as hell. This ain't even fair. <laughs> Rama hits him with a clean <laughs> kick and they actually start going back to back. It's Mad Dog on the floor and this is when Andy actually starts cooking up. Hitting a tag team two piece only to get mm. snuffed. He knocks the sonic rings out of Andy's mm. head. Telling you bro's been getting cooked the whole fight. I'm starting to feel bad. Mama kicks him to the floor and then Andy has him in a chokehold. And then you start hearing Mad Dog growling. Bruh, the hell was that? Get this shit off my screen. This ain't no dog, nigga. A feline, maybe. But I don't even know about that. Rama once again tries to ISO by throwing him to the floor. But Mad Dog starts piecing him up with this combo. Slams his head to the wall. And before he can finish it off, Andy with a Hall of Fame tackle slams him against the wall. Whoa. All right, you lying, man. Shit. Cook, I guess. You know, hmm. Andy, he can't even get a combo off without getting countered. But thankfully, Rama steps in to save him. But not even he is able to cook up anymore. Because <laughs> Mad Dog proceeds to pummel this nigga with jabs. Got this nigga starstruck. And then he passes out. Andy tries to cook up only to get violated and thrown like the trash that he is. Rest <laughs> in piss, bozo. And Rama, for the 50th time in this fight, has to spin back for his brother only for Mad Dog to to do this nigga egregiously with this cold ass pose too. I know he swear he in an edit, hmm. but sadly, I can't talk about it after this. Cause Andy picks up the glass from the light and stabs Mad Dog's neck. And this man proceeds to fight them for two straight minutes. Hmm. The glass enlarged in his neck. Now, obviously hmm. I can't commentate over that on YouTube. I'd have to blur like half the screen. Don't Just know me. it's the coldest thing you probably mm -hmm. will ever see. The kill at the end of the fight is extremely brutal too i couldn't even watch it on my first viewing but yes. definitely peep this fight if you have not there is so much that happens in this fight i couldn't even commentate over all of it i could spend three minutes on one 10 second interval that's how much that be happening in these fights but yeah that's the video i appreciate y'all for watching depending on how this does i'm gonna run up raid part two but before okay. i do that i might have to bless the john wick niggas first it's been how yes. long Shit. Yes, yes, Zephyr, yes. Please do um a John Wick recap if you've not done it. I don't think he's ever done it. I gotta see his, his channel. I gotta see his channel if he done a John Wick recap. But overall, man, the recap, Zephyr, great. Because, yeah, The Raid Redemption was definitely one of the best action movies I've seen ever. It was freaking incredible, man. I'm like, ooh. The freaking first was absolutely brutal. I was like, it's been so long I've seen it. It makes me want to go see it this year, actually. It just makes me want to see it, man. It's been that long after seeing The Raid. Redemption, so whoo, wow. That was a great recap, Zed Fire. Keep up the great work. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Zed Fire's recap of the Rate Redemption. So, George, please hit up on your share thoughts. How old was you when you saw Rate Redemption back in 2011? And how many times have you seen it? And yeah, I definitely will get a chance to see this again for sure, the entire movie. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have another Zephyr recap and it's his Spider Man Cross Spider Verse recap. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.